cut. There's nothing you can't do. That's the message West Palm Beach resident Peter Rosinski sends to the deaf community every time he steps on the diamond. A New Jersey native who's been deaf since he was two years old, Rosinski is one of only a few dozen deaf umpires in the United States. He's been umpiring softball games since 1998. About five years ago, his love for the job brought him down to Florida, where softball leagues are more tolerant to his cause. People need to open their minds and just give people a chance. Give deaf people a chance. Rosinski communicates through his sign language interpreter, Amy Hare, but it wasn't always that way. For the first few years with the East Coast Umpiring Association, Rosinski had to work without any interpreter at all. It was really difficult the first two years with no interpreter. One of the umpires had a deaf family member and they fingerspelled to me a lot. But close to three years ago, the association hired Hare to help Rosinski with meetings and training. A former softball player and coach herself, Hare's been interpreting for almost 30 years. She's worked for three presidents and countless other politicians. Through all of her years in the business, she says Rosinski has a special way of inspiring others. I wish more deaf people had the confidence he does to go out and just go for it and be a pioneer and have be a person for children to look up to. He's a wonderful role model for deaf children. If I wanted to become an umpire, I just went for it. I wanted to prove to deaf children that I can do it and they can do it. Surprisingly, Rosinski says being unable to hear doesn't affect him on the field as much as you may think. But he also says being a deaf umpire does have one major perk. He can't hear players and coaches screaming at him over close calls. Herb Yuzi, ESPN 760 on Fox 29.